friends in this video I'm going to do a number of examples on differentiation now this these are the formulas I got I've pasted the formulas and the two rules the product rule and the quotient rule okay now the first question is differentiate y is equal to square root of 10x minus 3 we can use the chain rule here uh, you can use the chain rule I'll show you how the chain rule works so let me write this equation y is equal to instead of the square root I'm going to write y is equal to excuse me 10x minus 3 to the power half now you have to use the chain rule chain rule says you differentiate the inside first and then the outside so first I'll do without the chain rule okay, I'll let this as zero so let cu is equal to 10x minus 3 so when differentiating both sides with respect to x I can say d by dx of u is equal to d by dx of 10x minus d by dx of 3. So what I've done is I've used, this is called the derivative operator. This is, this operates, or this is the derivative operator. So yeah, here you're asking the question, what's the change in u for a very small change in x? So we say, well, that is du by dx. That's the gradient function, du by dx. Now, what's the change in 10x? for a small change in x. So we'll say that's 10. And here what's the change in 3 for a small change in x? So 3 never changes. 3 remains 3. So there's no change. So that's 0. So du by dx is 10x. Or if you think like this in a different way, you can understand this is an equation of a line and this is the gradient. So what we're saying is, uh, why if u is equal to 10x minus 3 you can draw a line and the gradient is 10 okay that's as simple as that so now what happens is uh, du by dx is 10 so this function y can be written in terms of u I can say y is equal to u to the power half okay <clears throat> now you know the power uh, the differentiation of a power function so here for uh, differentiating a power function you drop the power down and decrease the power by one or drop this exponent down and decrease this exponent by one so when you're differentiating by uh, du by d by du of y now you're differentiating with respect to u d by du of y is d by du of u to the power half there's an easy way to do this I'm showing you this just to explain how to do it in a fast way or in a smarter way. So d by du of y is nothing but dy by du is equal to, here when you're differentiating this, you drop this down half, so that is half times u to the power half minus 1. So I can say dy by du, dy by du is half times u to the power negative half so I'll leave it as it is okay now we I'll show you what is the chain rule so you can say dy by dx is dy by du times du by dx now see this is uh, this looks to be daunting but if you look at it dy when you say dy, this is a number, in fact, a very small number. So you're asking dy by dx stands for the small, a very infinitesimally small change in y over the infinitesimally small change in x. That is dy by dx. So basically, when you write dy, du, dx, they're all numbers or they are fractions. So this is a fraction, in fact. So this fraction, sorry, this is a denominator here and this is a numerator. So this and this gets cancelled. So this is dy by dx is all here on the left hand side and right hand side. You have got nothing but the same dy by dx. 
So what do we know? So therefore, I can say dy by dx is equal to dy by du, which is half times or half u or, or let me go back, okay, half half u to the power negative half times what is du by dx? du by dx is 10. So times it by 10. So let me scroll up. Therefore, dy by dx is this half times 10 gives you phi u to the power negative half. But what is u? u is, let us go back, what is u? u is 10x minus 3. So let me put that back. So final answer, but you can say, but u is equal to 10x minus 3. This is dy by dx, okay? So this implies dy by dx is phi times 10x minus 3 to the power negative half. This is good, but if you want to simplify, I hope you understand this is phi over square root of 10x minus 3. So this is the most simplified form of this derivation, or derivative. Okay, now how to do it in smart way? So what you say is y is equal to, you can do in one step. So instead of going through this whole big process. So what you do say is divide by dx. So this is nothing but 10x minus 3 to the power half. So to differentiate in one step, what you do is, you differentiate the inside first. So what is the differentiation of 10x? That's 10. What's the differentiation of 3? Or negative 3, that is 0. So times, then you differentiate the whole function. So you take this as a whole function. So take it as a power function times half times 10x minus 3, and then de decrease it by 1. So half minus 1, and this is nothing but phi times 10x minus 3 to the power negative half, and that is same as phi over square root of 10x minus 3. See you in the next video.